Ooh, this game knows how to treat us right, man. They are tickling us in the right places. We got a new event on the horizon with another one to follow up. Mm, man, Yostar, they are doing things the right way. You know what? Someone needs, someone over there needs a promotion. Anyways, let's talk about what is heading our way very soon. Welcome back to the dome. Make sure you grab your front row seats for all you new folks out there. My name is Zeals, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to your boy and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now we are in the command center, and I, as you guys already know, I'm 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 already hyped, man. My nipples are hard. Let's talk about what is coming very soon. They haven't, I haven't heard any dates just yet, but by the time you're watching this, maybe it, it'll be spoiled. But my inside sources are not giving me the date just yet, but it's very soon quote unquote, very soon. Unlike the CN server, we're gonna do it a little bit different on the global side. We're getting the heart of Surging Flame, a part two first. Well, it's gonna be part one for us. And hopefully after that, according to what they're saying on Twitter, which we'll check out, you know what, you know what, let's, let's just check it out right now. Up in the Japanese side, as well as my homies in South Korea, my brothers, and of course, the English side as well, the global server, we have got the hint for the new event coming. And if you just look a little bit closely, you're seeing Castle 3 with this skin, as well as Matterhorn. Wait, and, and you can also see, wait, wait a minute, where's my watch at? All right, there we go, my heartbeat said what? 99, but, oh yeah, I'm, I'm literally hyped, but we got the wrist guard up in there as well. All three of these Twitter pages are showing us what is to come, and you're seeing, yeah, you're seeing it right. We're seeing Myrtle up in there, not murder. Myrtle and she if you don't know who she is man you've been living under a rock you should be hyped yes people are you know talking about Heligar and all of that stuff but the real star of the banner is going to be Myrtle we'll talk about her momentarily but all you gotta know is that this ain't no fake news this is coming our way soon and once again we are going to get the part two first now in terms of the event itself these are the rewards that you're going to get you're getting the free skins for Matterhorn Silver Ashes Bro as well as Castle 3 and you're getting a furniture piece as well as the other rewards that you're seeing yeah so we got that and how do you do that all you need to do is do the dailies it's going to transform into the event dailies and once you knock them out you can purchase these with the event currency it's so simple no complexity easy to complete what else is there to say what else is there to say now the thing i'm hyped and so excited for are these look at them look at these Look at these skins that are heading our way, dude. The Coral Coast skin line, dude. Oh my God. I just made a video about this last week, just begging, you know, Yostar for this skin right here. Look at that. Ifrit looking cute, kawaii as fuck, man. And look at that, she got a barbecue pit. And she spraying us with the pro, well not me, but the reunion members with that, I think it's propane or butane, butane. I don't even know, man. So we're going to get Ifrit with her bikini and that see-through, what is that, apron? That is some next level shit right there. And we're getting that for 15 Originite Primes. Every skin that you can, oh, Sora as well. Look at, oh my goodness. Look at that, she's doing the little heart, man. That's so, oh, okay, man, if you're cringing, my bad, dude. But just just don't look at me, look, look at Sora. She's, she's looking so kawaii, so cutie, man. Anyways, we're getting Sora as well as Gummy. Whoo, the skins are so cool, man. They're so cool. Um, I don't even find them to be like sexy. Maybe for you, I don't know, but I know it's a C word, man. It's hard for me to say it, but hey, hey, I just gotta say it, man. It's, it's, it's stinkingly cute. All right, so we got that coming our way for 15 Originite Primes each. Whew. What else? All right, so we gotta talk about, of course, the operators. Now, once this does hit us live, I'm going to get them immediately, live stream that bitch, and you know, do the summons for all my viewers, and then I will showcase them as well. But let's just quickly talk about it. I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want to drag your time. I want to just get in and get out. All right, so let's talk about what Heligar does. The thing about Heligar is that he, he thrives in the end game, in the CC. What, what the hell is CC? It's the contingency contract. It's basically like the end game, the hard mode of this game. And yeah, it's not here right now, but it's going to come someday, relatively soon. I mean, just judging by the speed of you know, you'll start pumping content out. I'm gonna say that it's gonna be within a couple of months, man. 
at the latest. And once again, Heligar is going to shine because you are not allowed to bring ranged units, ranged allies on certain maps. They are banned. So what that means is that you're not going to be able to bring your medics. However, Heligar heals himself. His trait allows him to heal when he strikes an enemy. So for every enemy that he hits at E0, it's going to be 30, 50 at E1 and E2, it's going to be 70. But hold on a second here. His skill three, just check it out, right? He's gonna get the attack multiplier, but the attack range goes up right from skill seven to skill seven M1. He gains an extra tile and he's gonna hit three targets simultaneously. So you can see how his heal is going to be very, very good. But not only that, oof. When he is not blocking, he also heals himself with his E2 talent. And his block, if you're wondering, is one. And his talent one is, is just insane because like you want this guy to lose HP because he's going to gain attack speed. Whoo! So this guy, like all his toolkit, his trait, his talents, as well as his skills, they all line up perfectly, have that nice harm harm. The word I'm trying to say is harmony. Dude, what the heck is wrong with me? But yeah. He has great synergy with himself and he is quite useful. I mean, you don't need him, but he works well in the contingency contract. Let's move right along. Next up in the Heligar banner, we have Esthesia as well. She is a guard, but look at her trait. She deals art damage. So she is not a physical damage dealer. She is a magic spell damage damage dealer <laughs> what the hell but anyways that pierces through armor now similar to heligar she has something to do with speed when you deploy her every 20 seconds she's going to gain one layer of you know plus five speed at e2 and it's gonna wrap up to five layers that's gonna be what do 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 one minute and 40 seconds damn man that's gonna be okay that's gonna be a while but sure you can use her in like and I, I mean you don't really like yeah yeah you don't really need her but that's what she does with her talent all right, so we got that. And her skill one, basically attack and defense boost. As for her skill two, she gains additional block count to a total of two. She's going to gain attack and defense and attacks multiple enemies equal to her block. So she's going to be attacking. She's going to be cleaving two targets down at the same time with that art damage, baby. Dude, she looks sick, dude. I'm going to get her like first day and I'm going to showcase her as well in a separate video. Let's move on down to the star of the show, Myrtle, man, Myrtle. Why can I not say the t? Myrtle, okay, Mur anyways, guys, Myrtle, she is a vanguard, and you may, you may be like, well, uh, God, I already have a Texas and a Siege, why, or a Zima, why, you know, you know, we got, you know, Fang, we got Courier, why do we need this girl, Myrtle, well, just check her out real quick. Now, if you're not staring at her body, you may be looking at her traits. Reduce block count to zero when she's using her skill, and you may be like, what? I need my vanguards to block, but no, having flexibility is an awesome thing and when you use her correctly and trust me it's not hard she could be blocking and you could pop her skill so that you know the dudes bypass her so that they don't kill her off right when she's like at like you know 30 percent hp or something there are so many ways to use this correctly but here's the thing i mentioned the contingency contract the hard mode the end game of this game and you know just getting your operators out like it doesn't matter how many good you may you may have like you know all the six star operators in the game but once that contingency contract hits you may not be able to deploy or use a lot of your favorite six stars and you need to just pump out maybe a saria or even hoshiguma like asap and who is going to help you do that your vannies your vanguard so a lot of the cn server players are incorporating Myrtle as well as Siege. Now for the global servers, even for the free to play, new beginners, anybody, once this Vanguard Myrtle hits, our life is gonna be a lot easier. And the reason why is because Myrtle generates insane CP. All right, so she's going to give you so many cost points back into your team so that you can drop your more expensive six stars or five stars, whoever you want to drop ASAP. There's no other five star and six star vanguards like her. So she is going to hold this down. Her title is to generate CP. She's gonna outdo Texas skill two. I love Texas, I, I really do, even down to her shoes, man. But you know, Myrtle, in terms of generating CP, she's gonna be it so that you can deploy 
your big boys or big girls. So skill one is going to maximize that CP generation. Her skill two also generates a lot of CP, but not as much as skill one. But there is another perk that Myrtle has. And with skill two, she can heal one nearby ally for 50% of her attack at skill seven and three but you don't even have to max that out right you can just go with 35 percent and it's gucci and once again as i mentioned right now no we don't have these maps but we will where we cannot bring medics so operators like saria myrtle you know heligard they're going to shine when the big boys the contingency contract does hit us on the global server now that's not where it all ends guys at e2 she gains a talent that heals other vanguards so once again for the maps where you cannot bring medics she is going to keep up your siege if you do bring her with myrtle or any of your other vanguards Ooh, all right guys so that's gonna be it i just can't wait to get my hands on these we just had the craziest summons for ifrit and saria you know a couple of days ago has it already been a week already damn but yeah we had that so i'm hoping that we get as lucky this time around with heligar and especially well i got like what 21 vermil copies i mean i'm not trying to flex here or anything but i'm sure i'm going to potential six this girl right here and at potential six her cost is going to be lowered from 10 to 8 if you manage to get even one copy that's good and if you get one extra dupe that's gonna be what cost is gonna be lowered down to nine but yeah guys i'll talk more about that in a separate video if you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful make sure you help your boy out by hitting that red button down below and smash that like button i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out for now your boy zeals peace